Look, this book is an all new Superman. This is not something that happens every day. This is a Superman number one. This is a new character stepping into the role of Superman in a way that hasn't been done before, stepping in to, to do big things. He gets arrested for standing up at a rally for refugees. He fights things in a way that isn't always with his fists. He doesn't see borders as the end of, or the reason to stop doing good. So I think the key differences between Jonathan and Clark, obviously part of it is the age. You know, I have a 15 year old son and I see what he's passionate about and how passionate he is about that. And I think John is very much that. He sees the problems of the world, just like just like Clark does, but he sees it on a different level. He sees things like climate change. He sees inequality and equity, and he wants to do something about it. He is a really, really empathetic person. And so when he sees that, when he sees this person on fire in the forest with the military attacking him with with the world exploding around him, he doesn't instantly look to fight that. He looks at this character and sees the anxiety. And despite being, you know, just because you're the most powerful person on earth doesn't mean that you have to use your power for fighting, for punching, for, you know, for violence. And Jonathan will constantly look for another way to do that. And so I think him stepping into there and, and hugging him and telling him he's going to be okay and that he's got it. Um, is just as powerful as anything he could have done physically. Absolutely, yeah. It's. Um, I think. I think whenever I'm writing this, I'm writing it with my, particularly with my eldest son in mind. You know, the the conversations that he and I have, especially having been in lockdown for 200 days or more here in Melbourne, we have big conversations about various forms of injustice and the things that he wishes were right with the world. And so you do see some of the conversations like John's just had on the moon with Clark um, about what he sees in the world as, you know, as a, as a person who can see the macro and the micro. Um, he has x-ray vision, he has telescopic vision, he can see the oceans rising, he can see ice receding, you know, and he wants to do something. And I think my son is the same. I think more than anything, there's there's a really healthy respect between Bruce and Clark and where they're kind of concerned about annoying one another. Damien and John don't have that. They will rib each other constantly. They will constantly tell each other how they can be better or what they're doing wrong. I think also the two of them growing up, they have a relationship that is very brotherly. They can speak the truth to each other and in a way they, they can also look after each other. Look, I think it's for a lot of reasons. I've said for, you know, from the very first comic I ever wrote, I've said that everybody needs heroes and everybody deserves to see themselves in their hero. Um, and Superman's no different. When it came time for people, for DC, when they asked me, they said, Do you, you know, would you be interested in writing John Kent as Superman? I mean, they knew that writing Superman has been my dream forever. But if I was doing that, I needed to work out why what's the reason to write this character and what i came to realize was there wasn't a point in having another straight white savior come in and be superman there had to be something more people that he represented and i think john you know finding himself in this way as he does in these upcoming issues and the, the conversations we're going to have there are really important for a lot of people